You're about to meet a Perth man who peddles synthetic party pills and products to hide drug use. But what he's doing isn't illegal because the items aren't banned yet. And Travis McLeod says he has nothing to be sorry for. Travis McLeod sells products to beat drug tests. He justifies that by claiming they're an invasion of privacy. So you think you're helping workers in this regard? Oh, I, I totally believe I am, otherwise I couldn't do it. I couldn't get out of bed every morning thinking that I'm ruining lives. He sells fake urine, shampoo to beat a hair follicle test and mouthwash to beat drug and alcohol tests. And he claims his products always work. Easy, every single time. So do you think it's responsible, you know, putting up on your website there's an article how to beat a drug test? Um, oh, oh, probably responsible definitely wouldn't be the right word, but um, it's, it's, a, it's a way to capture um, the attention of people. Now he's getting the attention of the state's top cop. I'd be very careful about buying products that, that haven't been proven, but I could tell you that I've never seen a product that put, can mask alcohol, and plenty of people have tried over the years. And while Perth faces a drug crisis, Travis is also selling synthetic party pills. His store, Frio's Finest, even advertises its products online. Is what you're selling, is that contributing to our drug problem in WA? Not at all. But whatever's found in my herbal highs are found in dietary supplements and found in plants and the food we eat. There are renewed calls from both sides of politics to expedite legislation, which is still to go before Cabinet, to ban the sale of synthetic drugs. Local politicians shocked by what is being sold, calling for the <laughs> shop to be closed down. I say bring it on, because I'll fight tooth and nail, because I believe in what I'm doing and good luck to you. Oliver Peterson, Nine News.